Okay, so today we were gonna talk about knurling. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, it, correct, but <clears throat> this is one type. And this is another type, you can see it right here. For the introduction I will use another camera. Uh, this is a very odd type. It's kind of square. But anyway, knurling turtles are very different sometimes. This is a one wheel tool and the wheel on it has a tooth that make this pattern it's like this on an angle uh, you can reverse this however you want you will not get the cross pattern with a single wheel tool uh, if you want the cross pattern you will need to have crossed wheels uh, this one is a straight one roll away uh, actually the one that rolled was made with this one which has this angled wheels this is the most odd looking one it has a, a hole for a pin you can align and not on this part here and you can change them never use it so actually it's used but not by me so today we will see how this one works so far i've only used the big one um, how is the big one different from the others apart from the design this wheel is actually made out of an insert the others this one is high speed steel i think this one also and this i think it's hardened steel so Apart from this one, the rest you can all use on aluminum. And someone tried to use the others on a pretty tough steel, I think, and they've kind of ruined it. Uh, I don't know if this one will catch the, the wheels. But anyway, I'll try to focus with the other camera. Yeah, so let's mount them in the lathe. And I've got a nice piece of aluminum here, it's cast, I have a stick out, but it won't matter that much, because this lathe is big and steady, probably I'm kind of scared because this is cast aluminum, casted by me, and I'm not that trusty, but it doesn't have rocks in it, like other castings that I saw, so yeah, let's mount it in this very old tool post and see how it will go. I'll change the camera also, just want to see how the difference is. Okay, so here we are finishing the part. Damn focus. Hopefully this time I will get a very nice finish. It's a final pass. So yeah, it doesn't have a very nice finish. Uh, anyway, for this purpose, it's alright. okay okay so I've got the problem with the height this is as high as the tool can be mounted in the tool post uh, but again this is not something very crucial because the tool has a rotating wheel on it so anyway 
it's recommended you, you use high amounts of oil in lubrication and yeah let's get it started right I'll go now back in the other direction you can have as many passes as you wish Let it go just a little bit farther, just to see how three passes look and one pass looks. Now let's see. Doesn't look very well, but. Definitely a nice grip. I don't know if you can get the the model, but yeah, it looks it looks nice. Yeah, I can't believe I tried that. Uh, I think it looks nice from the first pass too. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Okay, so this was number one. Just one pass. I've seen that it's enough. Fully enough, it did the same pattern. Yeah, nice. Okay, I've changed the tool. This one is as high as it goes also, so I know this is, the, this is a thing, so yeah, let's try the straight one this time. Okay, so hopefully this shows. You cannot see this, but on the first one I stood, and from here on the tool moved. Uh, it's no difference from the tool standing or moving. Nice. Okay, so I've mounted the other one. And 
this is the one that has the most wear in it and it's the most small the smallest so let's see how this one does it's not that nice you can see that the, the lines that go in this direction are the most prominent the most healthy the others are not that's just because one of the wheels is very worn someone tried to use that to use it just by itself or I don't know but yeah anyway it's nice Okay, so compared to the other one, this is the biggest one and it has the insert wheel that can process steel very nicely and because of its sheer size, centering is not relevant. So yeah, this is how the other one does. So I think I've covered basically all the types of knurling. Uh, there is another pattern, which is odd. And one of the wheels has straight lines, like this one does. And the other has longitudinal lines on the other, which makes a pattern of squares. But as I said, that I think is the most odd one. Uh, I have to tell you, from all this knurling, uh, the piece is oily. It's still full of oil. You can see why you need knurling on a piece. Here you have some grip. Here you have maximum grip, so I, I will break my hand. You can see I have I have marks on my hand. This other one is very, very nice too. It's grippy, but not as grippy as this one. So if I sometimes need grip on twisting, I think this is the most, the most useful one. Yeah, nice, but then again, if you need to pull on something, this one's, at first I didn't like them, but now I seem to love them more than the others. So, yeah, I don't know why. These are the most nice ones. Anyway. Uh, well, I have nothing to say anymore, so thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot, bye.